Hi guys, just had a delivery, eBay delivery, an electronic speed controller, I think this one's a 10 amp one, and I just want to try something out with it, I'm going to wire it up to this little connector, which is much smaller than it really needs, but I'm going to do that so I can plug one of my small LiPo batteries into it and just see if I can control this old um, DVD drive with it. I'm not sure if I can because there's four wires going to that and only three wires here but we'll find out. It's not what I bought this for but uh, it's something I saw somebody do on YouTube. I'll see if I can find the link and I'll add that to my video description and we'll just see if it works. Just checked YouTube. Francisco Ramos Munoz. Apologies for the pronunciation. It's his video so I'll put a link to it so you can find it. And he shows you how to work out which of the four wires on the hard drive it is that you actually want to use. Very simple diagram he shows. These are the three coils that are actually in the motor and he shows why you've got four wires. Each of the three coils go to a common point which is brought down to the bottom again. So you've got one, two, three and then a common. So you should be able to measure the resistance from there to there to there and to there. From there to there should be double the resistance. From there to there should be double the resistance. And from there to there is only the one resistance. And from there to there will only be one resistance. And from there to there will be only one resistance. So you can work out which is the common. And I just happen to have this wired up just like that diagram. So at the moment we got no res uh, well infinite resistance. Connect to the first one. I've got eight ohms. Connect to the second one. I've got eight ohms. Connect to the third one. I've only got four ohms. So if we do that the other way round, and take the far end as being the common. First one. 4 ohms, second one 4 ohms, third one 4 ohms. So these three here are the coils and that one's the common. So if I want to try and use my electronic speed controller I should just connect those three wires to those three wires, I think. I've just soldered my electronic speed controller to those three wires we just proved. It's all left in the open there so I have to be careful I don't squash it together. I've got my old LiPo battery connected up to the speed controller and then I've got my servo tester attached to the speed controller and then I've got four AAA batteries there giving us a power supply to the servo tester and I got a bit of sticky tape on there so you can see that it turns so if I turn up the power So I guess we're going to have to make a little fan driven car or something to test this now. To make a fan driven car I'm going to use this, this is one of these cheap toy helicopter rotors. I'm going to cut the centre out of it so that I can then hot glue it or I could even possibly screw it because there's screw holes there. That's the centre out. So 
So I could either just hot glue it. Or I could use the screws. A bit fiddly. Connected up, but unfortunately going the wrong way. And I remember on flight test, Dave Widdenstall saying all you need to do to reverse the rotation is to change any two of the wires. I've got to say, that's quite fascinating. That works. I've just changed two of the wires over out of the three. And exactly as Dave Widdenstall said in flight test, that's reverse the rotation. So, we better mount it on a car. We're going to use the electronic speed controller, so we might as well make it radio controlled. I'm not going to give it steering or anything like that, I'll just make the fan radio controlled. And I'll use the body from the car I took apart yesterday. All I'm going to do is stick a cardboard insert in it, glue some drinking straws to it, put some CDs on barbecue skewers through it as axles and then we'll mount the fan on a little bracket on top here just to blow it along and stick the radio control inside. This is very much just for fun guys so there's my radio control transmitter and we've got our little funny car up the end there with the hard drive fan or at least the hard drive motor spinning a nice big fan so with a bit of luck Just to show you what we've got in there. I've just pushed it all straight inside. So we've got the receiver, the electronic speed controller, the LiPo battery, and the battery supply for the receiver. And we're spinning up. The hard drive motor. camera a bit. There it is. I'll hold it still. Only trouble is we've got no brakes on it and no reverse. So if I send it up the other end of the kitchen it's going to crash into the door. Which will do. <laughs> there we go. Job done. So, that's thanks to Francisco Ramos Munoz, and as I say, I'll put a link to the, his video so you can find it. it, gives you far more detail.